Hi everyone. So I'm just going to do a quick energy reading here for Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine Energy. Okay, so time for a nap uh, came out in reverse. So, and then we have regeneration. So major transformation. I feel like whatever um, I, I'm hearing plotting and planning <laughs> has been going on, I guess. Um, I'm hearing that song. She don't know. I got some big, big plans. Okay. So anyway, it's like coming out of that hibernation mode, ready to take action. Maybe you're making a decision to make, take action. Okay. It's just, it feels like movement. All right. But movement, maybe you're changing things up in your life or there's, there's some sort of change either it's within, but as we change within, so does our, so do our surroundings. Okay. So, um, yeah, round and round. See, look, look at this. Yeah, there's, there's been like, I feel like, yeah, see, and now it's in reverse, this round and round. It's like you're jumping off this, this merry-go-round of neglect and, and regret and moving forward, okay? And this is happening on both the masculine and the divine feminine energies on both sides, okay? It's, it's happening within you. So it's like, uh... There, yeah, I'm hearing that um, Miranda Lambert song, Pursuit of Happiness, and uh, that's all about like just like changing plans, and it's like, okay, so I was doing it this way, and you know what, this way like really fucking just blew up in my face, and there's confirmation anytime my phone goes off during a reading, that's always like confirmation for me, so for what I'm saying. All right, so I've been guided to use... Uh, certain decks i'm going to get started divine feminine energy remember this is within you but also in regards to or you can apply it towards your person whether that's somebody that you know or somebody that you're um look and here again the the, the phone went off whether that's someone that you are in a relationship with currently or somebody that you're pulling in or um someone that you know as your uh, counterpart. Okay, so we got serendipity at the bottom. So something is happening very synchronistically, okay? Um, this is, uh, the breathe card was coming in reverse. So I'm getting two messages here. It's like, some of you, you aren't taking the time to meditate and slow down so that you can have this breakthrough, okay? And that you, you really need to, all right? So that you can allow for the divine to step into your life rather than you controlling every aspect of it, okay? They're saying, how, how is that working for you? <laughs> okay, so this is about breathing in, breathing out, meditation okay and it's like finding the words okay i feel like in um meditation you will be receiving some sort of guidance here okay that's a number 29 which breaks down to an 11 and one and one is two so divine masculine energy please okay we're getting two yeah moving on from this drama and it, so I'm hearing it's a somber time, all right? So this says to the sea, but you see it's like coming out of this chaos and conflict, whether this was within your mind or whether this was happening around you or just like inside you, okay? It's it's moving on from it. It's emotions settling down, okay? There could be some sadness in whatever it is that you're letting go of or just like the acceptance of something just not working out okay um it's moving on all right this is a number seven this is a 33 you could be seeing all these all these numbers okay um because seven and 33 that's a six six and seven makes 13 four four and eleven four and two six so you could be seeing four six sevens elevens 33s 22s okay all those numbers oh wow and look here's uh 24 okay time for a nap. So I feel like, yeah, there's, um, restructuring. Okay. Slowing down, realizing, uh, this is like Rome wasn't built in a day and, and life is not a race. All right. The only person that you truly are in competition with 
is the person that you were the day before. At least that's that's my belief. I, I go with um, just moving forward. I, I honestly don't care what anybody else is doing. I am just trying to better myself and be the best person that I can possibly be on a daily basis. And, um, you know, when you lead, you will have a lot of people that will want to copy you and all that kinds of stuff. And back in the day, I used to get really resentful <laughs> about it, you know, and my, my mom used to tell me, that imitation is the highest form of flattery, but I didn't really give a crap about that. It, it pissed me off. Like I liked being unique and having, you know, my own style, but, um, you know, imitation is the highest form of flattery. And today that's the way that I take it. <laughs> so I feel like some of you may have need, may need to hear that because it's like you're stepping up your game. You're going up a notch. It's going to show everybody is, is yeah i'm hearing like nipping at the bits like it's like i'm here why can't i be you that's um the cure all right give me one card for the connection yeah exchanging gifts this is about balance this is about giving and receiving this is about i can do this and you could do that and then but if we did it together like amazing like how beautiful could it be all right so I feel like there's some sort of, um, yeah, look, see, there's some sort of recognition here about what can actually be done, what you can actually do to improve, um, for some of you, the connection, okay. And your connection with your person. I, I don't, I don't know that, um, some, some of you are walking away from one situation and moving very slowly into the connection or towards the connection with the person that you're like meant to be with. Okay. Because a lot of work has, has been, um, okay. They told me not to say that cause it's not for everybody. Some of you are, that are watching are just beginning to start your, your spiritual transformation and start working, actually like taking awareness of yourself, you know, being aware of like, well, why am I always doing this? Like seeing your part in situations, but others of you, uh, you've been on this journey for a while. Same as me. You've been doing the inner work for a really long time. And you know, uh, there's been this clearing I'm hearing. There's a rite of passage into your next level. Okay. Although, um, everyone is leveling up you know, but it doesn't really matter where you are on like the ladder. That's how they showed me. Okay. So it's like, maybe you're just taking your first step on that first little, you know, step of the ladder. And some of you are way up top on the, on the top of the ladder. Okay. So, um, yeah, but it's like just, yeah, I'm hearing Brian Adams. Give it to me straight from the heart. That song. Okay. There, there's some, whatever you're coming out of or leaving behind, it taught you a lot. The number 14 is significant here. Okay. Yeah. This has been a step-by-step -step process. You've been learning little by slowly, like how to deal with people, how to deal with yourself. Okay. You're, you're, you're reflecting on the past and just like how, Yeah. It's like, you're ready to take off the mask. Like, even though your mask was made of gold, you still couldn't fool yourself. You have to be who you are. And it's like, there's just this acceptance of that. It's like letting your freak flag fly and just moving forward in your truth and owning it. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is really, Amazing. All right. So then they told me to get one of these and look what's at the top of here is the six of pentacles. All right. And this is the other deck they told me to get and these two. Okay. So let me see what else here. So divine feminine. Yeah. See, 
Queen of Wands, but it did show itself in reverse. So I feel like there are some of you, like I said, everybody's at a different level. Some of you have been kind of acting out, okay? A little ruthlessly is what I'm hearing, okay? But um, I feel like something is happening to make you check your behavior, okay? And this is like why I was saying some of you, yeah, see? Queen, Queen of Pentacles, all right? Um, or maybe you've just been, there's also, they're saying like there's been you felt disempowered okay because the queen of wands is queen empowered she is just the embodiment of sexiness she knows who she is and she just plays with her her fire you know it just it it just exudes off of her who she is everybody can feel it everybody can see it you know and she's not doing anything to flaunt it she just is okay she just is, you know, she creates magic. I mean, look, she's got that magic right in her hands. Okay. And she just has fun. She is fire. She is like the energy in the room. When she walks in, everybody notices whether they like it or not. <laughs> oh my God, that's funny. So some of you are, are reawakening that goddess within energy. Okay. And, um, stepping into your truth, owning your power, you know, it's like becoming grounded again. Maybe some of you need to get out in nature, but I do feel like there's been some of you that have uh, really been doing this, this work. But like, like I said, it's, um, this is also about just, see, this is, uh, I'm hearing these songs, like I can bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan and never, ever let you forget you're a man because i'm a woman <laughs> that song <laughs> okay so this is uh this is really hot energy okay so th th this is like yeah i'm hearing like i'm back okay so this is you remembering your power your power embracing it okay All right, give me one card here for Divine Masculine Energy. Wow, receiving. Look at look at this. Okay, this is Divine Masculine totally tapped into the feminine energy here and just receiving guidance from above, okay? Awakening to his guidance, listening to his guidance, okay? Going through healing, all right? Um like I said, there, there's been something that's, that's had to be walked away from here. Okay. And it, and it hurt. Okay. There's also this recognition going on of the hurt that you have caused within your own relationships, like all your relationships. Okay. And this is happening on both sides. Cause remember we all have divine masculine, divine feminine within. Okay. And so it's like, This is the divine masculine energy tapping into self-care and nurturing, okay? It's recognizing the love within its heart. It's, it's, it's recognizing that the love is still there and the desire to give and receive love is still there. And this is the divine masculine surrendering to it not so gracefully, okay? You've put up one hell of a fight for sure, okay? But you see how that's a zebra with giraffe spots? The spots are coming off. It's like the masks are falling off, okay? It's, it's, it's both, both sides of yourself. This is coming into this balance. Yeah, look at this, the magician here at the bottom. It's like, yeah. And see, truth be told, it's like, again, it's like just embracing once and for all who you are, what you are, what you've been through. Yeah. Ain't nothing going to break my stride. Ain't nothing going to hold me down. Oh, no. I got to keep on moving. There's no stopping. There's no stopping you. 
there's no stopping your person or the person coming towards you, okay? Whomever you're meant to be, to collaborate with, to build a future with. I mean, it's it's not to say that like this is going to happen overnight. You you may be like running into each other and it's like you just get introduced, you know? And that's the spark, you know? But it's like because the two of you are are now open to love again after whatever you've been through, you're open to the introduction and the possibility. So connection, the connection. Wow, see the wheel and oh my gosh, you see <laughs> the ace of cups. This makes me want to cry. It's and you see how she has the dice around her neck up there. It's like rolling the dice. It's take yeah, take a chance, take a chance, take a chance on me. Okay. And I feel like you're both like betting on yourselves, you know, betting on the fact that what you've learned and grown from has enabled you to step into the person that can make good choices for yourself and will continue to make good choices for yourself. Because I feel like stepping away from whatever broke your heart here and all the broken hearts that you've had, it's, it's really, um, this is probably what had kept you in this chaotic energy and, and disempowered you for a while. But it's like the fact that you're embracing it and moving forward, it's like, you're really finding out what you're made of. Okay. And it's like, no, like, it's like all about this, this self-love. Okay. It's, it's, you put yourself first, no matter what, even when it broke your motherfucking heart. Okay. And yeah, you chose God. You chose to listen to God, God first. And then you loved yourself. You didn't, you didn't allow whatever this chaotic energy was that let surrounded, whatever surrounded you and disempowered you. You didn't allow that to be your source of life. Your life came from, came from above, comes from above. You know this, your life comes from within self-love, gratitude. And when it all comes down to it, it's like, you can only be you. Even if like being you meant saying goodbye to something that you really loved, because whatever you guys have walked away from, like it could have even been like parts of your ego. Okay. For some of you, it's people and other relationships. It's, it's just sources of comfort. Some of you are walking away from different addictions. Okay. Could have even been like love addictions, sex addictions, drug addictions, alcohol, food addictions. Okay. Spending money. Okay. It's like you've truly been looking into your reckless ways and habits and destructive ways and habits. And there's a sincere desire to, to change. And this is what's literally changing everything. It's moving you down a, a new path. All right. Give me one card for divine feminine energy, please. Finances and career. Very focused on this. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. And I feel like this is also what has added to the disempowering feeling here. You could have just been like swamped with your, with work. You could, you know, it's, I know for me, it, it, it's just taken a lot of practice. I am still not freaking good at it. You know, keeping track of my money. I've been learning little by slowly, you know, yeah, look, honeymoon, there is some sort of trip. There is some sort of date coming up here. Okay. When this comes out in the personal reading, I say it's like in two months, um, within the next two months, you know, and, um, but there's something here with your job. You could also be changing jobs or getting a promotion. 
uh, but there is just like a focus on work. There's been a need to focus on work or this is what's kind of had you distracted. Something about work. All right, give me one card here for Divine Masculine Energy. Yeah, new love. See, this Divine, look, and express love. The Divine Masculine Energy here is, is truly like tapping into their heart space. And it has been like not easy. There has been a serious blockage here, okay? And look what's here. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right, give me one card for the connection. Yeah, heartache. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship, and I feel like that is what has um, been hidden is the love, and you both could be denying it. It's like staying optimistic. Also, also what I'm hearing is that it's like there's been some sort of um, denial that wherever you've been, the love was like done and there's just been this reluctance to let it go. Okay. But it's like, there is look this choice here of staying optimistic about your love life, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And then it says chemistry. See, you are being drawn or pulled towards whomever you deserve. Okay. Whomever it is that you want. And yeah, see, but it, what it has cost is freeing yourself from this stuck energy. But some of you are about to do this. Some of you have already done this. You know, like I said, there's like all these different levels of your, um, of the ladder. So every, because this is a general reading, everybody's like on a different stage of that, um, that ladder. All right. So let me get this divine feminine energy here. I need access to my Akashic record. So this is about like past lives. Okay. So getting some information about that. I have fractals of the mermaid in my soul and I am an empress. You see what I'm saying? There's like this really empowered energy coming through here. Yeah. See, my gifts are expanding and I feel like it's because you freed yourself from, it's like putting your, your trust in the divine, the universe, rather than trying to be in control. All right. One more here for the divine feminine. Yeah. I'm a healer. Yeah. So some of you may even be, um, starting spiritual practices or changing different things in your, like adding to your spiritual practice, just working on your spiritual practice. Uh, but know that you are a healer in whatever it is that you do. Some like, whether that's like, it's whatever that you're doing that you love doing. Maybe you're a hairdresser, maybe you're a doctor, maybe you are, you're a teacher, you know, it's like, whatever you do, it's like, um, as you heal yourself, your wisdom helps heal others and, and just enjoying what it is that you do. It, it, it's like, it empowers others. It, it brings joy to others because you like doing what it is, what you do. And I can recognize triggers. Okay. So, um, that's been a big game changer is what I'm hearing is, is being aware of like what, um, what you will and will not tolerate. What works for you, what doesn't. It's all like goes lumped in, gets lumped into that owning your power, owning your truth. All right, divine masculine energy, please. I'm working on balancing my energies and that's exactly what's happening here. That's exactly what we've been talking about. Okay, I know you are the one. So, so I feel like some of you may be meeting someone here new, all right? And for others of you, there's like um, someone here has this new love towards you. Because anytime this card comes out, I, I just realize this now, like, you see how this guy is kneeled down, but like, 
she's barefooted. So we're, like when you're barefoot, you're only like barefoot, like somewhere where you're familiar, you know, you don't like walk around town barefoot, you know, but you're usually like at your house. Right. So it's like, it, it tells me like you're somewhere familiar. So you may run into this person, like even at, they're saying the grocery store, you may run into somebody at the grocery store. All right. Give me one more. I can't stop thinking about you. So this person is, I can't stop thinking about you. I feel like just making the moves necessary in order to allow this new love to move forward. Yeah. I'm going through a spiritual transformation. Wow. This is a uh, really exciting and beautiful energy here. All right. And I'm going to get a, one of these here for the connection. Wow. One turned over right away. Patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order that came out right away. So confidence building, whatever you're doing now is helping retrieve your confidence. Okay. And peace. Yeah. See, because I feel like no matter which side you resonate more with, you're making a decision to rise above or leave whatever chaos and just tumultuous energy behind. And this is what brings you peace. Yeah. And freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. It's just embracing this. It's, it's the recognition of this truth. And, and knowing that choosing to stay stuck or in a loveless uh, engagement, loveless marriage, loveless relationship, loveless friendship, loveless whatever, okay? It's like, um, you were choosing to stay there, but you're choosing to move forward and out of it. And this is what literally shifts everything in your life. Okay. P says, I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. Boom, pow, boom, pow. You guys are rock stars. I love you so much. And I'm here for you. So if anyone's interested in a personal reading, all my information is in the description box. You have an amazing weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.